Here's the uh, A1C home test kit that I got from CVS. You can get these on Amazon um, or any place like CVS, Walgreens. And uh, this particular one came with two tests. The one you can get on Amazon comes with four. This one was 50 something dollars. The one on Amazon is a little more. But it was going to take two to three weeks to get here, and I wanted, I wanted it now. So, I'll show you how this is done, and show you what my A1C numbers are right now. And if you've seen any of my previous uh, shorts videos, you'll know that it's probably going to be a little high. So, let's get this thing started. All right, this is what comes in the kit. This is uh, what you collect the blood with. This is what you insert this into, and then it will go into this. And this is the lance. You keep package number two closed. You do not open it until you're ready to use it. So, first off, we're going to take this lance and it's all set and ready to go get yourself a good little prick there and you're going to take this make sure you can see it it gets the blood in there wipe it off now you're going to take this put it in there make sure it's in there Shake it, then let it sit for a minute. We'll put this away. Try to stop this bleeding. All right, so now it's time for number two. Okay, once you have number two open, you're going to insert it it says wait you're going to take this now it says sample you're going to take this off and you're going to push it says run put the cap back on and i'm still bleeding and now it has five minutes and I will speed this up, but it takes five minutes to test, and then it'll give you the reading. And this will give you your A1C reading, which is an average of the percentage over the last two to three months, which is unlike the glucose reading I did on my previous tests, which is just telling you what your glucose is at that moment. Uh, I've seen that you're supposed to be around 5 to 6. Anything under 7 is okay. Anything over 7 is bad. And I'll just say I did do the first test a week ago when I got this. And it was pretty bad. So we'll see what it is today. And I'll tell you if there's any difference. All right, so you saw that it count down and it went through, said okay, and then it gives me an 11.6. Now, a week ago when I first did this, it showed 12.4. And like I said, anything over seven 
is not good. Um, so that's what I'm working with right now. 11.6. Now for the last week I have been on a high protein next to nothing carbs and my numbers have drastically lowered. Uh, in about another week I'll start doing more testing and putting out random videos, little shorts like I did before, uh, showing the changes uh, in my blood just doing just a diet change. It's not really a, a diet you can stick with for long, but it will definitely get your numbers back into a better range. So that's it for now. I will do another video in a week or so. Uh, probably another little short showing my latest glucose levels. Thanks for watching.